Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play The Lefty Heroes Driz Cold Steel. Today, we're enjoying our free day. So, let's go around and uh, see what we got going on here. Oh, who's this guy? Looks like he's a member of the uh, upper class. Oh, yeah, it is nice. Oh, you're fishing. I don't see a fishing pole in your hand, though. Oh, yeah, uh, how are you doing? Yep, that's me. And what's your name? Oh, Kenneth Lake Lord. Okay. Oh, the Imperial Fishing Club. <laughs> really? Hmm. Maybe we could join a club after all. Oh, well, you know, not all nobles are really into themselves. Well, duh, Rain. Wow, does it really take a rocket scientist to figure that one out? <laughs> oh. Huh. In this river? It doesn't look too natural here. I mean, like, it doesn't have any banks. It's all concreted up and everything. Well, is the bridge a good spot? It doesn't look that great to me. Um, no, actually, I haven't. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, you could actually, like, sense that Rain used to fish back in Ymir? Ooh, get a fishing book? Beginner's Rod? Nice! Yeah. Like, do you just go around giving out fishing equipment to everyone that you meet? Oh. Okay, well, if you say so, thanks. Oh. Yeah, and just like in Trails of Zero, um, you have various fishing ranks. And the more you fish, the higher rank you're going to be. And with the higher ranks, you get more rewards, and you also get more fishing points, and then you can spend those fishing points on various courts, items, weapons, that sort of stuff. Oh, well, will do. Fishing's actually pretty good in this game. I enjoy it. Oh, thanks. I enjoy cool prizes, too. Um, you didn't actually explain or answer his questions, <laughs> but thanks. Oh, so you're not going to fish at the river, you're going to fish at the pond over by the gardening club? Huh. And do you wear galoshes at all times? Like, you're not even in the water. Why would you wear those? Yeah. Well, at least we got a fishing rod in the book. I mean, it's, it's a start, it's something. Oh, made by the Lake Lord Company, and his last name was Lake Lord. Huh. Well, no wonder you can afford to go around and uh, give them all out to every Tom, Dick, and Harry that he meets on the street. What do you see, Reen? Oh, yeah. Whenever you see that little water droplet effect right there, um, that lets you know that, yes, you can indeed fish right there. Also, a red exclamation point will come up over Reen's head, and then he'll say something along the lines of, this looks like a good spot to fish. So, every time that you see one of those, you're going to want to fish as much as you, can, as, as you possibly can to catch as many fish as you possibly can at each spot. The more fish that you catch, the more um, points that you earn. However, Fishing spots only have so many fish there, like right here, this fishing spot would have five. So um, each day or so, they're, they're going to go ahead and get replenished, so you can continually fish over and over and over again, and it's a good idea to fish until you can't fish any longer. That way you collect the most different types of fish, and you also get uh, as many fishing points as humanly possible. So let's head on down here. There we go. Okay, so we have instructions. I'm just going to tell you how to do it. Ground bait, we don't have any right now. Um, if you did, it would basically replenish the fishing spot for you. We don't have any of the rods, so I'm just going to go ahead and fish. 
You just sit here, wait for a little bit, and hey, yeah, all you gotta do is ah, hit the buttons whenever it tells you to hit them. This is hard to do, but this is the only time I'm gonna be doing it on screen, so keep that in mind. There we are. Perfect. Not bad. Ah, hey, awesome. So right here, it tells you that you've caught one type out of 20 various types in total in, um, where are we? Erebonia. We have 15 total points because we've got 5 points for catching it, but it's also a new catch, so we get 10 extra points there, and it gives you a size, hoop, which nobody really cares about. It's just there. And then sometimes whenever you catch a fish, it'll spit up various items. Ooh. And recover our CP, so that's pretty nice. So I'm going to do some more fishing here and meet you in a second. Okay, I got all that taken care of. And uh, now I want to work on some optional quests. So let's look at our fast travel that we have here. We can go to work to anywhere in the town if you want to, or if you hit the R1 button, now we can work to anywhere in the academy if you want to, and you can toggle between them by using R1 or L1 um, to figure it out. So what we want to do right now is head over to the Still Union building and do the optional quest first, because as we all know, if you have something required, you do it last. So go ahead and talk to this girl, Colette. Are you Colette from Tales of Sophonia? No, I guess not. She actually looks like a real girl, not a lifeless, soulless angel. I liked Colette, though. She was kind of cool. Oh, yeah, kind of something like that. Oh, or nothing like that. <laughs> that works, too. Well, helping them out with their work is kind of like joining them. Yeah, we could, you know... Yeah, and Toa's cute, you know? If she wants some help, we can give her a hand. What's wrong with that? Oh, well, yeah. You know, we didn't lose our book and then have to go crying to the student council to have somebody else go find it. Like, why don't you just retrace your steps? That's what I would do if I lost something. Oh. So I guess she has been retracing her steps, but she's just completely useless and can't find it. Uh, yeah, we don't have anything else to do. Oh. What, do they have like a whole armada of people to go around and find these books for people? Yeah, 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 we'll do it. Why not? Oh, no problem. Okay, so you want to borrow a book from the library. Oh, but you had already lost your notebook by that point. So where were you prior to the library? Oh, so you remember having it when you were in the classroom when the class is finished. Okay. Okay, so you dropped it somewhere between your classroom and the library. Makes sense? Yeah. Okay, so you went from the main building to the student union and then to the library. I guess that's why she's here at the student union, scouring the place looking for this book. Okay, so it's not in the library, because you've already searched that. And it's not in the rooftop, because he already looked up there, the janitor did. So just the main building. Oh, and they're not in the classrooms either. So maybe just the hallways, I guess? Yeah, the halls and the rest areas. Okay, will do. And on the second floor, wow, she really narrows it down for us, doesn't she? Man, it seems like she's like psychic. She already knows where it is. She just wants to bother us and go look for it. Yeah. So the hallways and the rest areas of the second floor of this of the uh, main building. Let's just warp on over there. Make my life really easy. 
Oh, let's see what we got going on over here. Uh, nothing on those couches, nothing there. Oh, wait, what's that thing right there? How convenient. Oh, yeah. Oh, perfect! Well, great. And as we all know in a JRPG, no one's actually named the same thing. But, you know, if there's one Colette, that's the only Colette in the entire world. Well, let's see. There you are. Hey there. Uh, yeah. Pretty quickly, too, and easily. student ID cards? They just have these notebooks? Well, I guess, you know, if, if, if the notebook has the name and the photograph inside of it, they don't need a student ID card. Oh, yeah. It could be rather expensive. Oh, it's no problem. Just keep track of it a little bit better next time, you know, keep it at the bottom of your backpack or something. The rest area is on the second floor, exactly where you told me to look. The gap between the cushions? No, it wasn't. It was sitting right on top of the couch. Oh, wow. So you've dropped it there once before and you didn't think to look again. You're not the smartest, are you? I guess the skirt pockets aren't all that deep. Well, the skirts aren't all that long. Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. That would be a better thing to do. Or a purse, or something else like that. You're a moron! How do you not know that you have jacket pockets? Wow. <laughs> I can see the pockets from here. Wow, this girl's dumb. Like, seriously? You've been in this uniform for over two weeks now, and you don't know that you have jacket pockets? Wow. Oh, hey, you get a prize. Nice! What do you have for me? Ooh, silver chain. I'll have to go check that out. What do you mean, Reen? Go on, accept it. Don't be like Lloyd, who's like too good to accept stuff. Oh. Wow, you are dumb, aren't you? How do you order two by mistake? Like, you know, the item thing could say, you know, two, and I can understand, like, maybe clicking up on that accidentally, but whenever it goes to the checkout screen, wouldn't you notice that it costs twice as much? Uh, who knows. No problem, Colette. Hope you don't lose anything else. Okay, so let's get on out of here. Done with that quest. Pretty easy quest, if I do say so myself. And, uh, you know what? Actually, I want to check out that silver chain real quick. See, that's an accessory, and ooh! Hey, I'll totally equip that. Prevents poison and raises your defense power by 10. That's amazing! Next quest that we can do is over here in the engineering building. I don't know if we're going to have time to finish it, but we can go ahead and, uh, Collect the quest. Good to see you too. What's going on? Oh, yeah, you're Toa's friend. George Gnome. Huh. Oh, the engineering club. Really? Yeah, well, good to meet you too. Your face looks really pale as comparison to your body. Like, if you look at his neck and his chest as compared to his face, it's like, it's pretty ridiculously pale. Almost like Toval. But Toval's cute, so I'll give him a pass. <laughs> oh. Yeah, thanks. Yes, Reen. 
just said he's the head of the engineering club. Of course it's the engineering building. So you can make orchids here. Sweet. That's kind of cool. That'll come in very handy, too. Oh. Uh, sure. Yeah, we can do it. Not a problem. Got to deliver three Orville products. Orville Scale to the Cooking Club. Home ec room on the second floor of the main building. Give it to the head of the club, Nicholas. Got it. Well, Trista's right there. It's not like it's that far. Especially if we got fast travel. Maybe they're in a jiffy. Might as well, you know? Their money's as green as everybody else's. Okay, the antique horrible lamp, and who gets that one? Mix Pawn Shop. Okay. Southeastern part of the Central Shopping District. Okay, yeah. Got it. I know exactly where it is. Been there, done that. wristwatch, and who receives that? Michael at Radio Trista. Oh, God help me. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, well, Michael isn't that bad. It's Misty. Ugh. Yeah, we'll do it. Why not? Watch and stuff, a scale and a lamp. How hard could it possibly be to carry all this crap around? It shouldn't be that hard. Okay. Well, let's see. The first person is in the main building, second floor, so let's head on over there. Let's see. It's the cooking club in the home ec room. Right over here. Um, no, actually. You kind of have ugly people in your club, and you can't open up your eyes to see how ugly the girl is next to you. But, sure, we have some crap for you. Wow. Well, do you use it to measure the amounts of food or something that you put in your food? You didn't know that scales existed? Really, Reem? Really? So it's like a precise weight scale. Huh. So it's like tearing. Whenever I worked at Publix as a cashier, we had to use tearing as well. It was, um, it was a way of, like, deducting the actual weight of the little plastic bag that you put your produce into. Like, I don't know how much it could possibly weigh, but, you know, if somebody had apples and it was in a plastic bag, we had to suit, we had to hit one tear, and then the code for the apples to take off, I guess it would be like, I don't know, a hundredth of a pound or whatever it was for the little plastic bag. If it was in a paper bag, I believe it was three tear? It may have been five tear to take off a little bit more weight um, for, uh, for the weight of the bag. So I guess that's what he's talking about right there. Kind of interesting. God, I forgot all about that. That's been 20 years since I worked there. Man. Oh, um, no, I haven't, actually. Do you want to teach me? Oh, um, Reem's a virgin in more way than one. <laughs> oh, just make something, anything. I personally love cooking. Huge fan of, like, Julia Childs, Martha Stewart, the great British baking show, and Mary Barry! I love her! She's such a bitch! <laughs> She's my favorite. Oh, it's such a good show. Uh, and just cooking in general. I love to cook. 
Okay. So you're giving me the cooking thing and the recipes for a simple omelet. Oh, hey. Nice. recipe tab in our books and we can go ahead and make food which will really help out for boss fights that'll be so so handy oh huh and then it gives you a little tutorial for cooking cooking's really easy all you have to do is have the um the required amount of ingredients and then you choose the person who's actually going to cook it and then there's like little happy faces next to each person and if it's like the happy face with the crown you'll make a unique dish a smiley face you can make like a really good dish or a superb dish if it's average it's gonna be a regular dish if it's a frowny face you're gonna make a peculiar dish or like a disgusting dish really and you're going to want to create all the various different dishes for each recipe that you get. So you can get 20 recipes, but there's four different outcomes. You can actually make 80 different um, food items. But can we finish up this quest? And what's the ultimate reward for it? Find out next time. Let's play The Legend of Heroes Treasure Cold Steel. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.